Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Looking for the perfect case for your new iPhone 13? Want something that's got a lot of grip and a lovely hand feel? Or maybe something which is perfectly clear and has a no yellow guarantee? You might want to check out these options from Spec. These are both going to give you excellent drop protection at 13 feet and that you're treated with microband and they're MagSafe. Let's check out these cases in greater detail on my iPhone 13 in Starlight. Looking first at the Spec Presidio Perfect Clear, this is a relatively rigid case. It's quite slim and lightweight. We have a hard clear back and relatively hard clear sides. The sides have a little bit of give to them, but not much. This case is guaranteed not to yellow. If it does yellow, Spec's going to replace it for free. However, keep in mind that you have to either purchase this from Spec or from an authorized retailer in order to qualify for the guarantee. So looking here in the interior, we have our MagSafe ring. This is nicely inset, so it's not going to scratch the back of your phone. This case is treated with microband, which is going to reduce bacterial buildup by 99%. And it's going to provide 13 feet of drop protection. Very impressive for such a slim case. In order to put this case on your phone, you're going to want to start on the left-hand side. Put in the top and the bottom corners. This is a tight-fitting case. Make sure that both the top and the bottom are properly inset before you go over to the right-hand side. And then press on your right-hand corners. Once on, we have an absolutely impressive fit on here. There's not a give over your buttons. There's not really much give over the port openings. I mean, the slightest amount of give, but this is a really tight fitting case. Very nice and secure. I think Spec did a great job on this. Looking at the amount of lip we have for the screen, you have lots of protective lip. Of course, I don't have any kind of screen protector on here. If I had a screen protector in place, you would have less visible lip. But still, I think that your screen is going to be very well protected in this case. And again, you do have that 13 feet of drop protection with this case, so that's excellent. Looking down here at our port openings, we've got asymmetrical port openings for an asymmetrical port design, so that's great. You also have plenty of space here for many third-party lightning cables, although of course the case does support both regular Qi wireless charging as well as MagSafe charging, so you might find you're using that functionality less than you otherwise would. Going up the sides here, we got a little bit of spec branding over here. Not too terribly obtrusive. The sides are slippery. This case has very, very little grip although they're going to slide easily in and out of pockets and handbags, so that is a pro. Going to the buttons, this was a huge surprise. The buttons are way improved. So if you've had a spec clear case in the past, you've probably been tortured by the buttons because they've often been really, really hard to press. Not the case here. Nice, easy press buttons. Great job there by spec. You've got plenty of space here to access your mute switch. Looking at the view from the top, everything looks great. Then going over here to the side button, again, great button, absolutely no issues. Looking at the view from the back, this case does a wonderful job in showing off your iPhone, looks absolutely fantastic. I've got the Starlight iPhone here, really puts the beauty of my phone on full display. So we have this MagSafe ring here, definitely going to notice that because of course you've got a clear case. This material is smooth and hard underneath the fingertips. Again, very, very little grip with this. This is quite a slippery case. It's going to show fingerprints, although it's not too terribly bad about those. At least at first, it seems to do a reasonably good job at repelling fingerprints. But this type of case overall typically tends to show a lot of fingerprints over time. It also tends to scratch over time so be aware of that. But as far as yellowing is concerned, as long as you purchase this from spec or an authorized retailer, if it turns yellow over time, they will replace it. So that is really exciting. So looking here at the amount of protection you have for your protruding camera, you have absolutely sufficient protection. Slightly raised rim around the camera. 
So it's not tons of protection, but it's absolutely sufficient. I feel completely comfortable using this case. I'm not worried about protection for my camera at all. We have a little bit of speck branding up here in the corner, but nothing too terribly noticeable. Overall, I think that this case looks and feels great. The biggest issue I have with it is that it is slippery. Other than that, I think it's a fantastic case. You've got the 13 feet of drop protection, does a great job in showing off your phone, microband protection against bacteria, and you've got that anti-yellowing guarantee. So lots to love here. So as far as wireless charging is concerned, the Perfect Clear is going to work great with regular Qi wireless charging. And of course, it's going to work with MagSafe charging because it is a MagSafe case. Good job there with the MagSafe adhesion. Nice strong magnets. You're also going to be able to use this with other MagSafe accessories such as Apple's MagSafe wallet. Love MagSafe wallets. If you haven't gotten into the habit of using MagSafe wallets yet, you're going to be hooked once you start using them. Super convenient really fun to use. You also will be able to use this with third-party MagSafe accessories. Mouse's MagSafe wallet is my favorite MagSafe wallet. This one works really well. Extremely strong magnets and the little micro dots on the back help it stick on even better. We've also got a really nice MagSafe wallet here by Pataka. This one is going to fit and this one's fun. This one is made of carbon fiber and it's one of my favorite MagSafe wallets just because it has such an interesting design. It will hold two cards, but unfortunately it will only hold chip cards. If you try to put your MagSafe cards in here, they might get wiped, so you have to be aware of that. But again, it's really nice to be able to use this with the case. Works really well. This is Pataka's MagEasy Wallet too. And then finally, if you're a fan of MagSafe power banks, you're going to be able to use this with things like Mophie's Snap Plus Juice Pack Mini. Great little power bank here. You can see we've got a very nice magnetic connection on here. Great feel in the hand. Super convenient way to top up the battery on your iPhone when you're on the go. In order to remove this case from your phone, you're going to want to start in your top right hand corner. Press that off. And then go down to your bottom corner. Press that off. And then slide out your phone. Relatively tight not too bad. Moving on to the Spec Presidio 2 grip case for the iPhone 13. This is also going to offer 13 feet of drop protection. It's also going to have microband protection to reduce bacterial buildup by 99%. This is the latest version of Spec's iconic grip cases and the grips are a bit different this time. They call them inverted grips. So they're just actually little depressions in the back, but on the sides they stick out as grips. It's really kind of interesting. We'll look at that a little bit closer. Overall, quite a nice case. This is supposed to be 20% thinner than the previous version of the grip case. Overall, really nice. Mag safe. Again, it's a pretty rigid case. Not as rigid as the Perfect Clear, but relatively rigid. And just a very nice case here by spec. Putting your phone in this case is pretty easy. Just start on the left hand side, put your phone in place, top and bottom corners, and then go to press on your right hand corners. This one is much easier to get on than the Presidio Perfect Clear. Once on, we have a good fit on here. Again, don't have give over your buttons. You don't really have give over your port openings. I mean, maybe the very slightest amount, but I'm not even sure you've got give there. This is a really nice tight fitting case, although it's really quite easy to get on and off. So when you look at the amount of lip we have on here, we've got a great amount of protective lip. Really excellent. And again, no screen protector in place. If you have a screen protector, you're going to have a little bit less visible lip, but overall, you're still going to have plenty of lip protecting your screen. Looking here at our port openings, same as on the Perfect Clear, we've got asymmetrical port openings for the asymmetrical port design, so that's excellent. And you've got plenty of space for third-party lightning cables here. 
Going up the sides of the case, we've got the new Presidio grip design here. These are not the old rubber grips that Presidio grip cases used to have. Instead, they are hard and smooth. So there's definitely less grip here than on the old traditional grip cases that you remember from the old candy shell grip or whatever. Not rubbery, hard and smooth, and not as grippy. But then again, they're a whole lot easier to slide in and out of pockets and handbags. So I think that's great. The grips on the sides are sticking out, and the grips on the back are inverted. So a little bit of a difference there. Going up here to our buttons, such nice buttons, really great, nice and tactile, feel wonderful. Plenty of space here to get to your mute switch. Looking at the view from the top, everything is excellent here, beautiful fit on the phone. And then going over here to our side button again, See all these beautiful grips on here? They're sticking out, they're not inverted on the sides. The inversion's on the back. And then, excellent button here with the side button. Looking at the back of the case, we've got this soft touch finish on here. Feels lovely. This is the kind of material that's gonna be good against fingerprints, and it's good against scratching, but greasy fingerprints or greasy smears will show up. But other than that, I think it's great. Um, we have these inverted grips on here. So the grips are just like little slices have been taken out of the back material of the case. So they don't stick out anymore, but they do give you grip. Overall, I think that they look quite nice. Got a little bit of spec branding up here at the top. Not too terribly obtrusive. We have a rim around the camera. This is gonna give you absolutely sufficient protection for your back camera. It's exactly the same as on the Perfect Clear. I don't think that there's any difference in the amount of protection for your camera. Definitely have lay on the table design here. Overall, just a really nice look and feel in this case. So this is gonna give you the same 13 feet of drop protection as you're gonna get with the Perfect Clear case. It's also got the same microband protection on it against bacterial buildup, and it's got the same ability to use MagSafe. So just like with the Perfect Clear case, this is going to be compatible with regular Qi wireless charging as well as MagSafe charging. Really great job there by spec. And you're going to be able to use it with other MagSafe accessories such as Apple's MagSafe wallet. Nice job there. Other MagSafe accessories like MagSafe power banks. That's going to work great. Really nice tight magnets. And then of course we have my current favorite MagSafe wallet, the Mouse MagSafe wallet. Really nice job on the MagSafe implementation by spec. Removing this case from your phone is super easy. Just start in the top corner, press that off, go down to the bottom corner, press that off, and slide out your phone. So overall, I think both of these cases are great choices for your iPhone 13. We've got that 13 feet of drop protection, you've got microband protection, you've got great MagSafe implementation, and you've got fantastic buttons even on the perfect clear case. Usually clear cases by spec have bad buttons, this one does not, really excited about it. And of course, if you're a fan of clear cases and you're worried about yellowing, the fact that this has the no yellow guarantee is super exciting. As far as the Presidio 2 grip case, if you're looking for a case that's grippy but not too grippy, this really might be a great choice. Both of these are excellent options if you're looking for a slim, protective, MagSafe compatible case for your iPhone 13. Again, we've been looking at the spec Presidio 2 grip compatible with MagSafe and the spec Perfect Clear compatible with MagSafe for iPhone 13. These products are available directly from spec as well as from many other retailers and they're priced at $49.95 for the spec Presidio Perfect Clear compatible with MagSafe, which is available in a single color, the clear featured in this review, and $54.95 for the Presidio 2 grip compatible with MagSafe, available in the black version featured in this review, as well as a gray and a blue option. Many thanks to the kind folks at SPEC for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And you might want to hit that subscribe button because I've got tons of iPhone 13 case and screen protector reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.